anything which is difficult for human beings to get to or anything which is covering vast areas uh, in uh, a more efficient or strategic manner or that's what's required um, it is really where drones are working. In 2017 we saw record amounts of capital flow into the sector uh, which is now valued at over uh, 102 billion pounds. In, uh, in both the UK and the US you know we've seen a uh, huge growth in the number of clients that are operating in this space and also the, the venture capital money flowing in as well and 2017 was a record year for investment in the space. Um, we've got some incredible clients really you know, changing the world in this space and that could be everything from a company like Canard Drones in the UK which is replacing the kind of manual way of looking for damage on airport runways flying a drone up and down it's a fraction of the time and you know incredibly efficient we also have a UK client called Sensat, which is reducing uh, the data from that's produced by drones by, by 90%. If you look at things like the construction industry, where there's going to be large buildings covering large areas, mapping that is incredibly difficult and manual for human beings to do so. Deploying drones, particularly with AI, to spot the defects early or pick out particular things early and have an algorithm which learns as the drone flies around is, is you know, a hugely exciting area. Um, I think that if you look at the mapping of the world as well, so mapping of difficult places, mapping of agriculture, mapping of landscapes. Um, again, that's a huge growth area. And there's a, a US client of ours, Drone Deploy, which is focused specifically on that and doing 3D imaging of, of those, uh, of those uh, rendering of maps, etc. You know, in the not too distant future, it won't be, uh, it's not beyond the realms of possibility. So, you know, you could look up at the sky and see, you know, thousands of drones swarming across, doing all sorts of different activities, both commercial, leisure, uh, even you know the drone racing now. So I just think in general, this is a space that is just going to continue to grow, and it's really exciting. And let's face it, anything which is you know miniaturized helicopters or aviation is actually pretty cool as well.